Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be my Benefit One Brand tutorial and I'm so excited to be doing this video for you guys today. I really really love watching One Brand tutorials so I'm going to try and bring more of them to my channel. So today with my Benefit makeup I've created a really pretty kind of like golden simple eye but I just think it's really really pretty and kind of smoky as well and then I've also just gone with a subtle kind of berry cheek and lip perfect for spring summer pretty much all year round I just really like benefit for their versatility within their products they've got a lot of different innovative things and then of course their color ranges are amazing you've got brights you've got neutrals you've got like smoky colors you've got a little bit of everything enough of the blabbing if you want to see how I got this makeup then please keep on watching so I've actually already gone ahead and applied my professional primer all over my face I've got it mostly where my pores are larger so mostly in this kind of area here in between my eyebrows and also a little bit on my chin for foundation today I'm going to be using one of my favorites it's the hello flawless mine is in the color I'm pure for sure ivory which is the lightest shade and I take about two pumps of this to do my entire face. And I'm applying that with a flat top Exo Beauty Kabuki brush. I'm just going to use a series of patting and buffing motions just to pop that on. So I just put it on one side of the face so that you could just see the difference in the coverage. It is obviously a different colour than my face, but it does actually match really nicely to my body. I just have a very, very light and like a red face but my rest of my body is quite yellow toned so you can see that it just helps to sort of start to cover up any acne and it has like a beautiful dewy finish which once it kind of sets is just a little bit more like natural looking rather than as shiny as it is right now. For concealer I know that Benefit do a bunch of concealers both for blemishes and under eyes the one that I really love is the fake up this is just a little baby sample size but mine's in light which looks like this it's got like a Kind of like moisturizing outside and then the color core but they also have the boying or boying we can't decide what it's called um for blemishes they also have lemonade which is a yellow toned one but i'm just going to be using the fake up today just underneath my eyes just to really brighten the area up i really like this if you don't like kind of like like moisturizing balmy concealers you probably won't like this one i also have the sample size in medium so i'm going to be using this one just to cover up any blemishes that i have but i'm going to put it on my finger first and then just pat it on you can see that one is just a little bit darker in comparison so it will match my skin tone a little bit better Now the only product by Benefit that I don't have to show you in this video is actually a face powder. They do two different face powders at least, I think. They've got the Hello Flawless, which is a pressed powder, and then they've got the Agent Professional or Professional Powder or something like that, which is a loose powder. So instead I'm just going to be using this one here by Hourglass, just because I find feel like this gives kind of keeps the true finish of the foundation the best. Mine is in Diffused Light, and I'm just going to pop that on with a Real Techniques blush brush. So now that, that powder is on, I'm just going to give my face a little bit of time to set before we move on to the face powders as in like blushes, bronzes and all that sort of thing. So instead we're just going to go right onto brows and I'm going to take my Benefit Browsings in light, which just looks like this. It's just got a wax side and a powder side. I really, really love the wax side. So I'm just going to take that using my EXO Beauty Eye Brow Brush and I'm going to fill in my brows. And to just lock the brows in and keep the hairs all in place, I'm going to take my Gimme Brow. This one is in the colour light to medium. And I'm just going to apply a pretty generous helping of this to my brows. Now for eyeshadow, I'm going to do something kind of gold and shimmery. If you want to see another benefit eye look that I've done, I actually use the Big Beautiful Eyes palette in another tutorial. It just looks like this. It's just a really pretty kind of like rosy toned look. So if you want to see that I'll leave it linked off down below but today I think we're going to go with something a little bit more golden toned with quite a deep outer corner I think. We'll see how we go. So to start off with I'm going to take one of the creaseless cream shadows which by the way can we just acknowledge this packaging? It's so cute but anyways the one that I've really been liking lately has been Bikini Teeny and it's just a really pretty champagne and I'm just going to take this all over my eyelid area and also into the inner corner to act as a highlight. The first eyeshadow we're going to take is this one here, it's called Guilty Pleasure. 
And it's just this really pretty golden, golden color. Can't think of anything else to call it. I'm just gonna pop this all over my eyelid with a E25 brush by Sigma. Now just to deepen up that outer V, I'm actually just going to go right in with a darker shade. Normally I'd kind of build my way up, but today I think I'm just going to go in with the darkest color that I have from Benefit, and it's called Quick Look Busy. I really, really love their name selection. And I'm just going to use this on the same brush, just picking up a little bit. Looks like a lot, but these are really pigmented, and I'm just going to pop this into my outer corner, and I'm kind of just going to pat it on. I really want to get just on this outer area. You can place it in and wiggle, but I just want to show you guys a different technique this time, so I'm kind of like patting it on. We're going for more of a gradient rather than like a colour over the lid, one in the grease and out of there. I'm just kind of going for one colour over the whole lid and then just a darker shade in the outer kind of third of my eye. I usually like to keep the shape of my eye look quite rounded at the outer corner, I'm not trying to go too angular. So I'm just going to take my blending brush, this is just the EXO Beauty Eyeshadow Blender, and I'm just really going to work on rounding off and just smoking out the outer corner. As you can see this brush literally does it in like seconds, you can already see how much of a huge difference that made. Now that all of that blending's done, I'm just going to go back in with Guilty Pleasure, which is the golden shade, and I'm taking this on a short eyeshadow brush by EXO Beauty, and I'm just going to pack this into the inner corner. I just kind of want it, the look to be very, very kind of monotone, I just want it to be two colours or monochromatic, it's a better word for it, monotone is sound, my bad. I just want it to all look very, very simple, but I am also going to blend this underneath my lower lash line right the way along. Then I'm just going to take a touch of Quick Look Busy and I'm just going to apply that just on the outermost part of my lower lash line. Just to kind of make the whole thing look a little bit more well rounded. I'm also just going to take some of that Guilted Pleasure and just pack that over my lid with my finger just because it's not as intense as I want it to be. Then to finish off the eyes I'm going to go on and use my favourite mascara which is the Benefit The Real. I love this stuff, I feel like it just does so much for my eyelashes. So I'm going to give one full coating to my top and bottom lashes with this. So now that the eyes are finished, I'm going to go ahead and move on to cheeks. For some reason, with this kind of golden look, I'm feeling like very kind of pink cheeks. You could go with something really natural, something really, really intense. These eyes, I think, could carry whatever. So I'm just going to be applying Bella Bamba, which by the way, smells amazing with my Precise Brush by EXO Beauty. Now for lips, I really really want to use one of my tints. I absolutely love these. Their lipsticks are amazing too, they're very like moisturising, more on the sheer tone kind of side of lipsticks. They have quite a few and I really really love them, but I'll show you guys them in another video. As I said, I'm kind of feeling the whole berry kind of look, so I'm going to go ahead and use Lolly Tint. This isn't exactly like a berry colour, it's more of like a what's well actually like the Radiant Orchid Candy Orchid colour of the year type thing going on, but I really really love this. So I'm just going to apply one layer of this, I don't want my colour to be too extreme because we are going to top it off with the gloss. On top of that, because it is a stain, I'm going to be applying a lip gloss, and this is the Ultra Plush Lip Gloss in Lollipop. I don't know if this is the one that goes with Lolly Tint because I know there's one that's like kind of like its sister product, but this one is a really, really pretty hot pink. And their lip glosses again are probably, I think this is my favourite lip gloss formula. It smells amazing, it feels like a lip balm on, but you do get like a really nice kind of natural, like kind of like an in the middle sheen. It's not like high shine, but it's not like no shine, it's like the perfect balance. So I absolutely love these glosses and again this one was Lollipop. So that's it for my Benefit One Brand tutorial. I really really hope that you guys enjoyed. This video was highly requested so I thought I would do it for you guys as soon as I got the chance. I do really love Benefit and their products. It's probably my favourite high-end makeup product range. 
there you go, got there in the end. So if you'd like to see any product reviews or further videos on any of these products, please let me know down below. And I'm also going to be doing another one brand tutorial soon. I'm thinking Maybelline is probably the way to go because a lot of you wanted to see Maybelline as well. So I'll probably do that one in a couple of weeks. As always, leave any other requests, comments, or anything like that down below. And don't forget to like if you liked this video because it really helps me out. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.